everyone. Welcome back to the Uncle Bob Crypto Podcast number 16. I'm here with Lorena Ortiz. Um, Lorena Ortiz is the entrepreneur and founding partner of Bitcoin Embassy Bar in Mexico City, consultant and workshop developer on blockchain and Bitcoin topics. She's been a speaker at Bitcoin Meetup CDMX, Bitcoin Bull Run, MasterCard, Binance Meetup CDMX, Fourth IPN University Congress of Public Accountants, Blockchain Land, Talent Land, and Bitcoin Embassy. Lorena describes herself as a cryptocurrency enthusiast and an analyst of social and economic phenomena, an intern in social psychology, a feminist passionate about issues of gender equality and support for women. Welcome to the show. Hi, Bob. Thank you very much for the invitation. Yeah. Do you know what? It's because I want to cover more faces, more people behind, maybe not the most obvious people to speak to, but people who are involved in crypto all the same, and especially women in crypto. And you seem to be uh, somebody that has some support and uh, has a good following. It says here that you actually are a partner, a founding partner of the Bitcoin Embassy Bar in Mexico City. It's, I was asking you before, is it an actual bar? Yes, indeed it is, yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a place uh, for the community. The, um, our principal uh, goal in this place is to bring community uh, together, a uh, Mexican community. Uh, so in Mexico, it's really um, friends get used to, to get together and drink some beer. So that's why we decided it has to be a bar, you know? So it can be a more, um, how do you say? So people can get together a more, um, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm a Spanish speaker. I, I, <laughs> I speak English, but not very well. <laughs> so Don't people feel, feel more relaxed, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drinking some beers and chilling out with, with friends. Okay, and so what's the connection with Bitcoin? Is it that you can pay in Bitcoin or is it just that you, everything is Bitcoin? Tell, tell us about that. Yeah, you can pay in Bitcoin. There's a Bitcoin ATM at the bar. Uh, you can buy some stuff like, like this cup, uh, these books, actually. We sell them in, in Bitcoin Embassy Bar. Uh, we have meetups. We have conferences about Bitcoin, uh, blockchain, technology, even um, some conferences about, um, how do you say? Yes, uh, lawyers and, and other uh, fintech uh, solutions. Wow. So your place is kind of like a hub for the Bitcoin and blockchain community in Mexico City. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, tell us about yourself. How did you get involved in all of this? What, why are you here now, one of the co-founders co of the Bitcoin Bar in Mexico City? Yeah, um, actually, I was uh, pretty involved in the metal and heavy metal um, scene in Mexico City in 2017. Uh, I was planning to go with a band on a trip to Japan, and I wanted to uh, get some more money from my uh, incomes. So I talked to a friend who uh, introduced me for, uh, to my partner to, uh, in Bitcoin Embassy Bar, and he presented me what was Bitcoin and all the ideology behind Bitcoin and all the, um, yeah, anti-system, uh, uh, how do you say, um, yeah. Yeah, the, revol <laughs> oh. the money revolution. <laughs> yeah, that's it. What, what month in 2017? Actually, I met him in November. It, so when Bitcoin it was going, was going up. up. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I decided to put all my money in because mm. of the ideology and yeah. then the, the bubble. It just, burst yeah but you're still here what what yeah. about why are you still here what do you so obviously you believe in this long term um it's yeah. been hard uh, you were here obviously there was two years of a bear market and that was hard yes yeah and you'd set up this bitcoin bar and uh, maybe people were laughing at you but now maybe they're not laughing yeah, actually, when we opened, um, it was the 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 the, the deeper uh, uh, the price was was in Bitcoin. Uh, uh, it was worth like three thousand dollars. So yeah. we went we went in a hurry to to open the bar because we were spending so much uh, Bitcoin trying mm -hmm. to to put it together. 
And when we opened, nobody knew we were there. Uh, nobody came around. But uh, little by little, some of the crypto community in Mexico started to show up and, and show a lot of interest in the place. So actually, all of the um, publicity we had uh, is part of, of them. You know, uh, they talk about Bitcoin Embassy Bar to their friends and, and they uh, bring some people. And yeah, that, that's how a community in Bitcoin Embassy has been built. Cool. And like, so what, what happens? Are there talks? Are there sp uh, speakers that come and talk? Uh, can they rent the place to uh, f go ahead? <laughs> yeah, yes, they can. Uh, actually, the, the space is open uh, for all the speakers that want to present anything. Uh, I always uh, have to do some research for the projects and the people that want to, to participate in a conference because uh, there are a lot of scammers, you know. Uh, and in Mexico City, it's really common that some people uh, have get scammed uh, and, and they were told that they were investing in Bitcoin, but they weren't. Uh, there, there, there was just some people that weren't to, to get some money, you know, and, and there have been a, a lot of bad, bad experiences in Mexico because of these kind of people. So I have to be really careful which, uh, who is, is, is having a conference in, Bit, in Bitcoin Embassy Bar. And uh, they can rent the place too. Yes, actually, we have had some really important um, events in, in this place. Uh, Talentland is one of the most uh, big, uh, how do you say, um, events in Mexico. It takes mm -hmm. place in Guadalajara. And this year was about to be in May, but it was canceled because of the, the coronavirus thing. Yeah. What's the current but, situation in, in Mexico, by the way? Uh, all, all of restaurants, bars, and uh, non-basic uh, uh, places uh, for, are shut down. Yeah, actually, Bitcoin and Basibar is shut down. Uh, but uh, our community is still supporting us because we have just uh, launched a, a, a token, and they are buying it so they can pay later uh, for, for their drinks and, and their food in, in this place. So, oh, it's like an ICO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Actually, uh, my, my partner is a, a Bitcoin maximalist. And <laughs> but it was his idea, you know, to, 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 to have this token. So what's it like? What's this cryptocurrency, the blockchain scene like in Mexico? Obviously, you have the Anarca Polco, which happens every year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. in uh, where is that that's Ca Cancun is it Cancun no, it, no it's in Acapulco Acapulco of course yeah. oh. all right um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but I mean generally what's what when you speak to people on the street and you say you talk about Bitcoin what's their first response uh, actually they're, they're pretty um, curious about this you know a lot of people that come to Bitcoin Embassy Bar doesn't know anything about Bitcoin they just come and say what what is this thing uh, what, what is Bitcoin and all, all of our uh, waiters and and man managers in, in Bitcoin Embassy Bar know about uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency I have trained them so they can explain to everyone that asks uh, about uh, Bitcoin, all the basic stuff. Uh, if the, the customer has so much questions, uh, they, they come to me. So yeah, uh, actually there's a lot of people that, that are interested. And now that, that the market went up and all the halving uh, uh, thing, uh, it, they, they just uh, get more curious. Of course, yeah. I mean, it's easy enough to, is this where most of your revenue is coming from? Because if uh, it's obviously going up, it's easy to yeah. turn a profit. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if it's going to go back down again, if it ever goes back down again, uh, how, what are you going to do? <laughs> like turn it into US dollars <laughs> as, you, as, you, as it's coming down? No, actually, um, yeah, it, it was harder at the beginning, you know, because of the price. It, it was just stable at 3000 yeah. 3000 yeah. and yeah. So I, I have to, to sell a, a, yeah. Few, yeah, a few parts of that uh, Bitcoin incomes in the bar to can support my, my employees and, and the rent of the, of the place. Uh, I, I saved a, a few of those, bit, of those Bitcoin uh, at 3000. So now it's a much more, more uh, yeah, money 
for saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and and I don't know. Uh, I I have tried to manage the um, all the accounts uh, about uh, Bitcoin income and money. Well, pesos, me Mexican pesos incomings. Uh, the best way I can. Uh, at the beginning, we have a lot of losses because of the price, because there was nobody that was coming to Bitcoin Embassy Bar. Uh, but yeah, we have our saves, so we are well just... Done. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> and so where do you go from here? What's your plan for this year? Well, uh, actually now we are uh, doing a live stream, a weekly nice live stream uh, on Thursday. Uh, we have our YouTube channel, Bitcoin Embassy Bar. If somebody wants to join us, it's in, in Spanish. It's for um, Spanish people uh, that, that talk Spanish. Uh, and we have our webpage where we uh, support other, um, how do you say? Uh, uh, projects. Business. Yeah, projects yeah. and businesses. We, we put them in our webpage so, so uh, everybody can see uh, who is accepting Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in their businesses. And um, I was planning actually uh, before the, the COVID thing uh, to start a, a clothes uh, brand yeah. ab about Bitcoin theme and we, we are retaking it. Right. So, but we, we'll keep an eye on it. And so you must be connecting with projects. Are there many blockchain projects working in, in Mexico, Mexico City area and around? Uh, is it is it quite is it moving moving up yeah actually a lot of of, of uh, people uh, from other places uh, have the idea that anarcapulco is all that is in mexico about cryptocurrency but it's not actually in mexico city i have found a uh, how do you say the largest community crypto community in in mexico in general uh, we have a lot of participants that work in blockchain things in cryptocurrency things, in, in token things. And actually the, the, there's a, a project, uh, a really interesting one, uh, that have just won a prize because it's about uh, making a, a gene bank, gene, uh, the genes. Uh, uh -huh. DNA, yeah. like uh, genes. DNA, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah the, the, a DNA bank uh, for, for Mexican people. So, so yeah, we, ha we can have our identity in, in a blockchain. Wow. Okay, cool. Well, listen, um, is there anything else you want to talk about? Because uh, I'm thinking of sort of finishing up. Is there any other, uh, other plan or promotion that you've got? Well, um, if you are in, you're in UK, right? Yeah. Do you have uh, Bitcoin places there? Uh, there aren't many. Spots? There aren't many. No? No, no. Oh. It's strange. <laughs> I think uh, after 2017, they got washed out. Mm. They, were, they were really big and there were lots of Bitcoin ATMs all over London. And then... Do you have, do you have regulations uh, against ATM, Bitcoin ATM? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I do know that they, I, they might be because a lot of drug dealers were using them to wash their money. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously. Um, it's the perfect <laughs> way. <laughs> um, uh, but... but uh, I think there are still a few around. There are, but not as many, oh. not as many. I mean, now could be a time to get into that kind of business. But uh, yeah, so the, there's Bitcoin. Uh, there were a few Bitcoin bars. I'm sure there are. I just haven't investigated. I really should. Okay. Yeah. yeah because in Mexico City, it's, it's getting a, a little harder to, to get some uh, Bitcoin ATMs and to uh, have a, a Bitcoin business because of the fintech regulation that is um that is, is going on in, in mexico so yeah it's it's getting a little bit harder but yeah. if you have if you have your your um how do you say your your declarations to the to the fees yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the taxes yeah uh -huh. the taxes uh, it's okay so yeah um and if you're in uk and in other parts of the world uh, if you want to come to Mexico, please let me know. You can follow me on my, my social media. Just text me. I always uh, answer, you know, Bob, you, you just text me in, in my, my Twitter. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, always, I always answer and, and I can show you around the, the crypto community in Mexico City. Well, 100%, I'm definitely coming out there. Uh, it, it, yeah, and it when, I, when I come out there, I'm, I'm going to come to your bar. 
Um, I'm going to leave all the links in description in the description box below. So if you send me those after. Um, yes. Lorena, thanks for speaking with me today and have a really good week. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. It, it, was, it was really good, you know. Uh, th this is my first interview in, in live stream for, for the UK. I, I have the UK, so it was really nice to meeting you. Hope you can come to Mexico City or I can go to the UK pretty soon so we 100%. can meet each other. Take care. Great. Bye-bye.